What's the deal, pickles? Hello, I am Dana of Freedom Police Channel. Y'all, I'm tongue tied. <laughs> The Freedom Police Channel and EssenceOfMe.com. I am coming on today to talk about my TBR for 2024. And I really had to give this a lot of thought. I did a kind of like introduction to me being um, a part of BookTube and not to be like this official capacity, but I thought it was a really great opportunity to give an insight or a window into kind of what my perspective will be as someone that wants to bring books and reading to my channel as a huge reader. And then I followed it up with me reading The Color Purple. And so that really was kind of this juxtaposition between reading what is popular or reading what I want to read. And honestly, I fall really somewhere in between that, that The Color Purple was not what I would normally read, but it was about the moment in time. And I'm so glad that I did it because it was a great opportunity to like introduce some grown grown swag. And it's not something that a lot of probably other booktubers would read. I think it also kind of set us up for potentially having this um, discourse as a woman of color who is black and reading black literature. And the reality is I read a little bit of everything. I do as a, a black author that re writes African-American romance um, and interracial romance, I'm all about it. But that's not the only thing because as I shared in that introduction, which I should links around here. Um, I read everything because I'm a reader, I am a writer, and I'm a developmental editor, and so, oh, and a business owner. So that means my, um, what I reach for when I read is varies based on what projects I have coming up, what I'm doing with clients, what I have a, a yearning to read, and a lot of times it's just like, I just feel like it. So in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about how I'm deciding in 2024 to read on my shelves. And I'm going to tell you what I did. I'm going to show you how I decided on a few categories for myself and how I went through both my physical shelf and my digital shelf. And I selected um, a handful of books in each one of the categories so that I have a place to start and I don't overthink it. The final thing will be how I plan to track it. I will give you a sneak peek into my notion board y'all it's not fancy but it's how we rolling and I will give you some I guess a little bit of what my hopes are for this journey so if you're interested in seeing that then I will see you after the introduction if not and you are still here do your girl a favor thumbs up the video subscribe to my channel because you may want to come back and look at something else if you're interested in what I am crafting what I am reading and what I am thinking well then stick around or come back and for everyone else that's hanging out for me with me for this video well then i'll see you after the introduction before i get any more tongue tied on this intro y'all let's go let go boxed <laughs> through that introduction y'all and I'm not taking it out y'all know I'm just trying to be cons I am being consistent here and preparing so let's rewind a little bit as always go ahead grab your beverage grab your craft and we're going to get into what my thoughts are for my 2024 reading y'all I have some very audacious goals in my business and I knew that because of that I needed to add some other things into my reading as well as I have a lot of books that I've been wanting to read and I haven't read and so when I started seeing all these challenges pop up I was like 
ooh, that would be pretty interesting to read something outside of your norm, especially if it is brought on based on a prompt. And at first I saw a couple of them and I thought, well, I could use the prompts and still shop my shelf, kind of like whenever you shop your stash. That's what I was thinking because that's what I'm doing in my yarn and my quilting life, right? But then I thought, you know, I have some really specific goals. And after sp spending some time setting up my goals, setting up my first quarter, because I plan based on the 12 year, um, 12 week year, I wanted to really think about what I have planned for the year and to set myself up for success. I want to do like I tell my clients all the time, which is stack the odds in your favor and dealing with what's going on between your ears as you uh, attempt and you go for what you want in your physical. It is so important to handle mindsets deal with skill sets, deal with, um, maybe it is just strategy. And then some of it is just plain out your girl wants to read it. So it's all of that. So the first thing that I did was once I decided I wasn't going to do one of the challenges, I thought, well, how am I going to break this up? Because I have enough romance books that I could read a romance book every day and probably still not run out of books. So that wasn't going to be the answer. But I do read romance for personal and I also read romance for clients. So it's important for that to be a part of it. So once I started thinking about that and a couple of books that was already like on my desk, literally then I decided to break it up into a few categories and if I attempt to read at least one book in each of those categories over the course of the month then I will be a happy camper you know worst case scenario I get through five books in a year which is not about to happen Best case scenario, I can get through 60 books if I read a book in each category a month. And I think I'll be definitely somewhere in between there, um, mainly because I do find that nonfiction books um, take me a little bit longer, especially if I have them in physical form because I like taking notes, which slows me down. I'm going to try my best not to let that stump me. I want to get through the books as fast as I can and then earmark the ones that I want to go back and take notes on. And a quick tip on that is if you find that it is a challenge for you to read a particular genre of books, consider um, pairing up an audio book with some sort of either ebook or a physical book. You will get through the content faster and you will also get the opportunity to kind of just get yourself acclimated. Um, another uh, tip off of that is let's say you don't want to purchase the audio book. Looking at something like um, um, a Speechify or um, allowing your uh, Kindle or Echo to read to you, then um, it can help you with getting through the content at a consistent pace. And that's what I intend to do because I will sit and luxuriate. And I don't have the time to luxuriate, but I do have the time to go through books and see whether they're worth me going back and kind of earmarking them to go back and kind of glean more. I'll take basic notes, highlight, and then move on. Uh, particularly for the nonfiction books. So with that said, let me go ahead and show you the five categories that I had. I'm going to show you some of the books that I have slated to read. I'm giving myself permission to change my mind. I'm also giving myself permission to read multiple books at a time. If I feel myself dozing, y'all, I will stop at the end of that chapter and then move on to something else. But I'm pretty good at reading multiple books at one time. So I foresee that I'll be reading one fiction and one nonfiction at a time and when that book is done pick up on the next one and so yeah let's get into the categories and I'd love to hear in the comments what type of books you like to read and if any of these books are on your to be read or your TBR list so let me show you what I have so what I did is I took to Notion. I am becoming a huge Notion fan. And what I did is I broke it up into these, um, I said five categories. It looks like it's six, but it's really five. And um, so I have romance, I have business, I have non-romance fiction, which can cover anything. And you'll see in a second, like it's right now and it's a lot of fantasy. Um, there's a thriller book in there and there's also a cozy. 
Um, I may add, and I'll add more to these. I have self-help slash nonfiction. I have craft books in the area of writing and editing. Right now, and I plan to stick to writing books, thinking about books that I can use as recommendations for clients or books that I've read before and I want to reread again. And then the final that I have here is Danger Tell Recommendations. Um, I do have a list of recommendations that I give to my clients and I like to reread them from time to time to see whether I still believe that that is a, um, a sound recommendation for my clients. I also like to um, get a better understanding and earmark who are the types of clients that can most use that recommendation or what genres I think that recommendation would be more suited for. So it makes it, um, it helps when I read them every few years. So right now I just have three, but I have many, many more I plan to add to it. So back at the top, romance, which is pretty like you it's a given. Um, I'm currently reading Dante, which I told you guys about. I'm literally at the end and it is killing me to finish this book. So you will be hearing about me and my love-hate relationship with dark romance, but I'm reading that because I'm working on a, a project with a client and so I need to finish it. Okay. Uh, a couple more that I have on here is To Catch a Raven by Beverly Jenkins. Um, I also have uh, Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. I'm a huge Twilight fan. And some others. This Haunting uh, um, Adeline. This is another dark romance one that is on my list. And I'm like, oh my goodness, because I keep hearing so much about it. And yeah. So I know I'll have many, 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 many more, but these are the ones that I have right now. And really what I did was went through the books that I know I need to read for clients or that I've wanted to read. I, I added them here to the list so that I wouldn't have to research for them. And I know that these are all books that I currently own, whether physical or in audiobook or in Kindle. And so I have that covered. And then I'll be able to just pick based on my mood. Like I usually won't go from like a dark romance book to another dark romance book. I will usually go to something total opposite or something that I know I'm going to love, love. And for the record, I'm really enjoying Dante. It's just really hard to get through for me. But I know I'm going to love, love to catch a right in. So I literally put that one back behind it intentionally. And so, yes. Um, in business, I have the $100 million offers by Alex Hormozzi, .com Secrets by Russell Branson, Copywriting Secrets by Jim Edwards. I think you see where this is going. I'm working on a huge project in my business and your girl is, you know, like they used to say, nuck if you buck. Look, I'm getting my skills up, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> if you're young, you might say, Nuck, if you're what? <laughs> Anyways, so these are all books that I have that I want to get through. And I may find that I go through these particular books a lot faster than I normally would because I am working through, I want to get through all of these fairly fast. The only one that I would say wouldn't be a fairly fast is this, The Science of Getting Rich. Um, This one was recommended by my mentor and so it's on there, but the others are ones that I want to get through. And the YouTube formula, um, that one I feel like is going to take a lot longer because the book looks super dense. Um, oh, I already put it on my other desk. It looks super de duper dense. Okay, so on the non-romance fiction, I have um, The Weight of Blood, which I would consider like a YA fantasy slash horror-ish. I could be wrong. Um, the Whale of Ascension, um, which is the second book in the Mistborn series. I have The Hero of Ages, which is the third book in the Mistborn series. I have Legend Born. And so I have a couple others, Dying of a, uh, for a Date, which is a cozy and the bones at point, no point. And this is a book that I have, I actually have the whole series that I want to read because I heard the author speak at a conference and he was amazing. And so I really wanna read his books. I'm just nervous because I really don't do well with them scary books, but I think I'm gonna enjoy it. Something tells me I'm really gonna enjoy it. So we'll see. In self-help in nonfiction, I have the Six Phase Meditation Method but by Shin Lakhani. Lakhani? I'm going to let it go right there. 
Uh, I've already started that book and it is going amazing and I'm looking forward to finishing that. I also have Feeding the Soul by Tab uh, Tabitha Brown. Um, why should white guys have all the fun? This is one of my all time favorite books in life. And I want to read it somewhat like the way that I did The Color Purple. Um, I read the book the first time when I was maybe 19, maybe 20. Um, and it changed my life. So I'm looking forward to reading that again and bringing it to the channel and kind of talking about it, like how it just changed my whole situation and how I saw what my goals were and literally it changed my life. Um, uh, building a second brain. I've been reading that one for a while and it is slow going because even though it's a lot, really great information, I find this is one of those nonfiction books that to me is really boring, but the information is good. So I just have to be okay with the fact that I read a chapter at a time because it's just boring. Okay, The Audacity be to Be Queen. I saw a YouTuber that I really like talking about this book. I'm just meh on it. I, I'm i pretty far into it. I had to put it down. I can't remember why. I think it's because I didn't like something in it. But I wanted to put it on my list and just either finish reading it or just um, DNF it. Like, do not, did, did not finish it. Like, just take it off my list. And The Power of One More, which is a book I saw... The author do an interview. I love watching interviews. Um, and so he did a great interview and I was really fascinated by his story. I'm not familiar with him, but I did buy the book. So for craft books, they're pretty straightforward. The Virgin's Promise, which is a good, a great book that's kind of about the hero's journey, but from the perspective of the female. And I'm familiar with it loosely. I've never read the actual book. I've seen the beats and the understand kind of like the premise behind it but I'm really curious about reading the book and seeing if there is ways to incorporate that in some of the work and projects that I'm doing whether for myself or for clients um how to read a cozy mist uh, write a cozy mystery which is that I'm working through with a client and then seven figure fiction I've read that book a couple times, but I always only get to a certain part and I don't go beyond that. And this time I want to go beyond it because there's a couple of tidbits that I keep seeing referenced in other places and I don't remember the way it's been referenced. So I really want to get through the book and see if there was something else I missed. So here is the beginning. I honestly feel like this will only take me through the first few months of the year. I do the 12 week year as far as my planning approach. And that means I just look at the first quarter. I put many books on here, um, but I really am only looking at what I'm going to read specifically through the first three months. I laid it all out and I I've selected the books that I want to start with for January and then that'll let me know if I need to make any sort of adjustments to my expectations or my list or whatever. So I'm giving myself flexibility. But the great thing is all these books I own. Now, I don't plan to buy any more books, but girl, guy, whoever you are, <laughs> that's subject to change. Um, I'm sure that there may, there, there may be a couple that I may purchase the audiobook just to help me get through it easier. Like I went ahead and did it for building a second brain since I realized I'm moving through it slower than I'd like. So I went ahead and purchased the audiobook just to help me get through it a little faster so I can finish. I have a feeling that when I go through these books, I'm going to wish I had finished that book um, so that I have a way to really start capturing these notes for different reasons. So this is my notion board that I'm gonna put the books in. And these are the five books that I'm starting with. Um, Dante, which I've told you about, um, $100 million offers, The Weight of Blood, um, The Six Phase Meditation Method, and The Virgin's Promise. I'm also going to put, put in To Catch a Raven so you can see how I add this. This is a notion template I purchased to catch. I can't even remember where I purchased it from. I'm not even going to lie. I went through what I had and just really wanted a way to capture um, what I want to read. I want to put, no, 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 no. I want to put this as up next um, category. This is historical romance. 
I'm so tired of it making all of these gray. Let's make it blue. There we go. Okay, the median, I have a physical copy. The link, I don't have the link. Let me just get it real quick um, to catch a raven. I'm looking at my other screen so I can put it on here. And this is always good so that I can have it, whether it's for my um, notes or to share in my description bar or whatever, or if I just need to go back, because sometimes I like to see what other readers have said. The release of this book was on um, August 23rd of 2022. And the cover, for all the books that I put in my list, I went ahead and added all the covers in a, I said to catch a raven, in a folder on my computer so that I can add them to my database. And there we go. So this is what we have. These are the books that I'm gonna start off with. And I am looking forward to reading them. Um, I do want to show a couple of these in person because I have them. The Weight of Blood, I literally bought this because of this cover. I have started reading it, y'all. I'm already nervous <laughs> because I don't do scary books well. This book is already a trip, but I'm looking forward to finishing it. So I have this in physical. I also have the $100 million Offers by Alex Hermosi. This is one of the books that I got for Christmas from my husband. And the other books are all in my Kindle or in Audible, which is also on either um, on my iPad or my phone or whatever. I am super curious. If you are an avid reader, how do you handle what you are going to read? Do you like to do a challenge? Do you go to your shelf? Do you just fly by the seat of your pants? I'd love to know. And if any of the books that I have up for the month of January are ones that you're curious about, do you have any questions about it? Or is there anything particular you would like for me to address in future videos? When it comes to reading each of these books, I'm just going to come back once I finish them all or when I get to a good place. I'd love to be able to say I will come back for those like to go over all I'm going to say six because I'm not going to fully count Dante because I'm almost done with it. So I should be starting to catch a raven probably if not tomorrow the following day. And so when I get all of them read and I can come back and give you an update to say whether this is going to work or not for me. Um, but I'd love to know what your thoughts are. So when your girl is out um, at the time of recording this, it is December 31st. So if I don't see you until after the new year, have a very happy and safe new year. And I will see you all hopefully sooner than later. Your girl is out. Take care and goodbye. I've been